Hey, this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar, showing the softer side of Marshall, the Hendrix side of Marshall. This is a very cool review demo of the Marshall Mini 2525C Jubilee. So in short, at their uh, Silver Jubilee, um, they came out with, well, the Silver Jubilee. And this is a smaller, more compact version of that now classic amp. I'll tell you all about it after I tell you about how we're recording this. So it couldn't be simpler. I'm plugging, this is my 1955 Fender Stratocaster stock-ish. I'm running it directly in to the Jubilee with a stock cable, or with a Klotz cable. We're miking the amp with a Royer R121. It's about, uh, probably about three inches off the speaker. That's running in an Apache Quartet and in Pro Tools. Later on, I'll be playing my um, PRS Custom as well so you can get a humbucker flavor for it. And I'll plug that straight in as well. And in addition to that, I'm using a, there's a very cool effects loop on this amp. And so I'm using a MXR reverb running in and out of the effects loop. But I'll turn that off now so you can get kind of the idea without it. So the, basically, this amp has all the features of the original plus some very cool other bits. Number one, it's a combo, which I love. Uh, something you can carry with you with ever, uh, wherever you go. And although it's a 20 water, you can, right here, you can swap, uh, swap it to 5 watts on the low setting, which is great, particularly in, um, for cameraman Perry right now. It, it would be pretty punishing at full volume. But we'll get into that later on. Uh, so much like the original Jubilee series in 1987, very simple settings right here. We've got presence, which I have down a little bit. Bass, which I have up a bit. Mids, I have up a bit. Treble, down to 3 o'clock. Then our master output, um, which, uh, if you don't have the control switch, which I do, the channel switching, this will, that will allow you to change channels. Um, next to that is the lead master, and then the, uh, uh, the, the first channel, the clean channel master. So it's a pretty simple straight ahead layout, much like you'd find on any Marshall but giving you some cool options with the whole channel changing and all that bit. And in addition to that, um, in the back of the amp, you have an output for a 4, 8, or 16-ohm speaker. Right now, we're running the, in, uh, the speaker that comes with it, which is a Celestian G12M25 Greenback. Um, there's also a DI output in back, uh, and that's about the size of it. Why don't I just play a little bit spins and knobs, you can see what it does with the Strat and with humbuckers. So why don't we start with the input gain, the clean channel. You know, Marshall's their bread and butter, their fame is all about the dirt, but man, they make a really nice clean platform. <laughs> Which, you know, if you listen to Hendrix, a lot of his stuff, his clean stuff, you know, he did on Marshalls, and it's a killer tone. But say you want a little more dirt. Well, you pull this out, it's what they call their pull, um, their rhythm clip. And that's a nice kind of overdrive <laughs> So a very cool feature. Um, to me, I like it. What I like about the controls in the Marshalls, when you, you know, as far as the EQ goes, when you boost them up, you hear it, like on this bass. Let's try that. I'm gonna get back to the clean setting. I mean, you really, you really get control out of that EQ. There's other amps where, you know, you they're basically on or off. You either hear them or you don't, but these, you get every shade in between. Let's roll it back. I like it up there. In fact, if this is my amp, I think I would dime that all the time. And when we put it on the dirty channel, nice right 
Okay, same with the mids. Jack those way up. You get a nice... You know, that really cuts, man. And then put some dirt on it. But say you're one of those scooped mid weirdos. Well, here you go. Bring that thing way down and you get the extreme. In fact, why don't we put on some humbuckers and see what that does. Okay, so now we're in humbucker land. Let's kind of bring that up in about the middle here. You know, that is a mighty sound for a guitar straight into an amp with nothing. That is big, man. Now, let's jack with this treble a little bit. I've got it down because I, I think, um, as I said, these, these controls, you get a lot with them. Man, when you bring this treble in, it gets... It gets uh... Whoo, man, that's some high end. Now, I know that a lot of Marshall guys, they just dime everything. Um, but I don't think that's a good fit for this one. I think when you get that treble up there, it is a little trebly. I like her down. I think this is my favorite sweet spot. And let's not forget presence. Let's bring that up a little bit. Oh, that's cool and clean I think that's my favorite right there with the uh, with the mids down or mids like at about seven bass all the way up treble back at about three and presence up it's interesting you know you can you can with those few knobs you can really get wildly different tones so by way of comparison I'm gonna put it on on full power so you can hear what that sounds like but I'm gonna turn down our master volume because if we keep it at this volume uh, we'll be we'll be giving our Pro Tools way more than it needs. So here we are. Good, reasonable, half power volume. Put it all the way up to full. You know, I like that. It's got a nice kind of robust, clean. You know, I like it better clean um, on the 20. It's more, um, it just sounds, I don't know, bigger. Granted, it's louder, but even with adjusting, with the volumes being similar, you get a little more, a little more warmth, I guess. Dare we go to dirt? Why not? Good tone, right? And then if we just add a little more dirt, these have so much dirt in them. Let me bring up my master on that dirt, or my, uh, my gain, and see what it does.
Man, that's really the sweet spot. So I love that it has a five watt thing, but to me, when you've got the bass just jacked all the way up, mids up a little bit, presence up a little bit, treble back, and on 20 watts, both clean and dirty, it's just way more alive. Great sounding amp. So those are the basic details. Uh, to read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook. Subscribe to our ever-growing YouTube channel. Check out Instagram, Twitter, all that jazz. We're out there. It's John Molger. Till next time. <laughs>